want to give you guys my thoughts on the whole Vivica Fox and Kenya Moore situation on Celebrity Apprentice. Now, I think both women hit below the belt. Yeah, you know, Kenya say things to get people riled up or whatever, but that's Kenya. But in the same token, I feel like people don't give Kenya a chance. They, and I always say that first impressions is everything. First impressions is everything. And Kenya have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way from being on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, she has been a whole different person on Celebrity Apprentice to me. Like, she hasn't really been catty. Well, she hasn't started it when it comes to being catty. Brandy been coming at her since episode one. Every time you get a chance, Brandy have came at her. So, and I don't know if it's Zizica being Nene's friend. Is that why she feels some kind of way of her? Is she a fan of Real Housewives? And then that's what turned her off on Kenya. But I'm like, to me, Zizica never gave Kenya a chance to see who she is, how she is. We never really get to see them with a one-on-one -on -one and getting to know each other. But every time you turn around in the confessionals, she's shading the shit out of Kenya. And I'm like... What is Kenya doing on here besides doing what she has to do? She's doing her work. Yes, like I said, she got a mouth. Can you do? And I'm not team troll. I'm not team no damn body. I, I'm team. I call it as I see it. Sometimes, you know, I agree with Kenya. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I agree with Zezica. Sometimes I don't. But this whole argument in the boardroom, I fought it. Zezica. I felt like it was they was talking and they going back and forth and Vivica just went hood with it. She became Frankie from Set It Off. Like I just didn't get it. First of all, you at work. Regardless if it's for charity, you still at work. You're on a national T V show at work and for you to go in there and call this woman a bitch because she said that she saw a tweet that said you were menopausal regardless if she put it on there or whoever put it on there she said she saw a tweet so you really got mad at her from something that she saw and read she didn't just say oh the bitch is menopausal but no she just said, I saw a tweet that you said that you was menopausal or whatever. So, you know, maybe that was the blame for the way you acted. But, and, and, I'm not going to say Kenya stole that phone. First of all, it's no proof. And my thing is, if she did steal that phone, y'all would have played NBC. Ain't that what it come on? Yeah, NBC would have played some kind of playback of her sneak in to steal that phone they would have been like okay roll the tape let me look at some cameras something if she really really stole that phone who stole the phone i don't know i don't care at that point my whole thing was vivica's reaction to it and this is where you just you can't take the hood out of people, regardless of where they go. And this is probably why she only been doing independent films since Kill Bill. I'm just saying, like, for real, for real, like, you don't act like that at work. You just don't act like... There is ways that you can fight with your words without having to go there. Without having to go hood with it. Without having to be really immature about it. Because... First, she called her a bitch. Then she kept calling her a toxic trick. She told her to bounce. She just was out of line. And Kenya never once went off, raised her voice, yelled at Ziva. Because she kept it cute and classy the whole fucking time. And I think that's what was getting under Vivica's skin. Because she wasn't getting the reaction that she wanted to get out of Kenya. Like I said, I don't know if she stole the phone. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. At this point, I don't even care. I just felt like Viva could just handle the situation wrong. You at work. 
you are at work. You are not on a reality TV show where it's like, oh, they plan out our real life and you at home like if you was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you want to do that hood shit, maybe you should have went and signed up and been any friend and been on this season and came at Kenya. But for to you to go in the boardroom and try to make her look bad, you made yourself look bad. And if you really was watching the whole boardroom thing, Gerardo was going after, he was agreeing with Kenya at first against Vivica. Then Vivica started going at Gerardo and then all of a sudden they both went over at Kenya. And then Donald Trump was saying, if that's foul, if you did that and all that kind of shit. But I'm like, it's foul for her to call her bitches. It's, it's foul for her to call her tricks. It was foul for her, was that girl named Sam, or whatever the other girl name was, the Olympic girl, to come out and say that she was on her period. And that's why she wasn't doing her work. Now, why is it okay for her, it's, it's not okay for her to be on her period and do her work, but it's not okay for somebody to say you menopausal? I don't get it. I don't see what was the difference of you saying she was on her period and Kenya saying you was menopausal. I really just didn't get it. And I know a lot of people going to thumb down a video or be on Vivica's side. It's fine. Just don't be disrespectful to me in my comment section because, like I said, this is my channel, my opinion. I just felt, like I said, both girls was wrong. Both girls hit below the belt because a lot of shit they were bringing up didn't need to be brought up in the boardroom because it didn't have shit to do with the job. And if Donald Trump was going to fire her, it should have just been only on the job but it just seemed like he fired her because he wanted to he didn't he had to clean house or something and he didn't want to get rid of Vivica for some odd ass reason when she's been on a losing streak for I don't know how many damn weeks in a row but and Kenya's been winning so I that's why I didn't get understanding why Kenya had to go home then I'm sitting there like yeah they did talk about the idea and how Gerardo did say it was gonna be you know, either they're going to love it or they're going to hate it. So, yeah, if you're going solely on the idea of the concept or whatever, yeah. But I don't think that's what it was. I don't know what it is with Donald Trump, like, in Vivica and thought he was going to uh, embarrass Kenya. But y'all didn't even embarrass her. Y'all, to me, it wasn't even an embarrassment on her because, first of all, she walked out classy. She didn't get stupid. She was just like, okay. And she still tried to give them a hug and say she loved them and this and that. And Vivica still bounce. You look dumb. Then going all out outside the room so everybody can hear you in the room. Because I'm sitting there like, she not there. And you talking to Gerardo and he's sitting right next to you. Why do you got to yell so everybody can hear this goddamn conversation? I told you that trick stole my phone. Where is the proof? That's my only problem. If you're going to keep throwing accusations and mad that she threw an accusation out on you, where is your proof? Can you have proof? Regardless of who put the tweet up or whatever, it was on there. And just like um, I think Cementa said, like, you've been doing some fucked up tweets ever since this whole phone incident came up. So why wouldn't I believe that you wasn't acting like this before then? Come on. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, that's why she on straight to independent, because something wrong with her attitude. Even when she was on Kim Kimball, even regardless of that girl doing wrong, you could tell Vivica's attitude. You could really still tell Vivica's attitude, and she thinks she all that and then some. <sighs> she should have went home. She always crying in the boardroom. She always saying, Mr. Trump, I don't know who I should fire and who I should bring back and woo whoop it. You and Tamik, you you and Kenya could have teamed up and been the last two standing, but you so busy this is my problem with these goddamn reality shows when it comes to competition. Y'all so busy, so jealous or so trying to get y'all big competitors out the way that you motherfuckers could have knocked everybody else out the running and then been the last two standing in the fight for the job like real black boss women. But now, you had to go get her fired for what reason? I don't know. It was just really, really stupid and I didn't get it. I, I just really didn't get it. But that's my thoughts on it.
y'all tell me y'all thoughts on it i did see um kenya on um wendy williams i didn't watch the show i saw the youtube clip um <laughs> so that's i don't watch her um and i liked it i like how she read the shit out of nene with that cease and desist talking about she needs to uh get a cease and desist for her wig i'm I'm in agreement with that. She talked about um, Vivica and the plastic surgery. She kept on saying she wasn't trying to throw shape. She kept saying little shit. And I was all here for it because I was like, regardless of what she was saying about Vivica, she wasn't calling her bitches, hoes, tricks, tramps. She wasn't calling her none of that. She still eat, She was still keeping it cute and classy. Regardless of the shade she was throwing, Wendy was trying to pump this shit up, and they got what they got. But I didn't see a problem with her interview whatsoever, fucking ever, especially after the bitch and got me fired and called me all these names, uh, and still continue to call me names, regardless of that show being filmed and over with. You still, Vivica, still calling this girl names on social media. How old are you? You over 50 years old and you still acting like you five. All you bitches need to grow up. This is what's wrong with our youth today and this is why they so invested in getting on World Star and and posting shit on Facebook because we got bitches on TV acting like this instead of being grown boss black bitches on their damn game, on the top, rising in their career. Not bitches that's arguing and want to fight all the time and just trying to say the, the, the slickest catchphrase just so they can be go viral. That's just dumb. That's just really, really dumb. But like I said, this is my thoughts, my thoughts, my opinion on the whole Kenya and Jessica Fox whole screaming match on Celebrity Apprentice. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it and we can keep going in the comment section. Just don't be disrespectful. Because I notice when I do a Real Housewives of Atlanta, any of body on Real Housewives, that's when my comments kind of start there. So just be respectful. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with nobody that's in the comment section. But you will be respectful or I'll just delete the comment. I'm just going to say that. I don't, it's not even about deleting you or blocking you. I'm going to delete the comment because nobody should have to be subjected to that kind of negativity. Just saying. So, so follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. And once again, everybody that's been liking my Support Tuesday videos, thank you very much. And we got to keep it going to support everybody. Like I say before, I'm team everybody. I want to see everybody win, and I hope you do too. Like I said, it's hashtag nothing but success 2015, and I want that you guys to get that in your mind frame. Um... Make sure you check out my girl Ashley Miller, Mike B, C Minted, Sayshawn Bradley, Gregory Hemphill talked about this subject. Much Love talked about this subject. And we all don't agree with, you know, everything that went on. But we all are respectful to each other. So I'll see y'all and talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.